Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Lovely to have you here. Give us a wave. Marvellous, some faces. Love to see a face or two. <laughs> That's always good. That's always good. All right, I'm just going to turn my radio off. <laughs> and then we can have a bit of music in the background. That would be quite cool. I promise I won't sing. You're all right. <laughs> well, I mean, I might sing. You never know. Anything could happen. Anything could happen. I shall just keep admitting people. Give people a couple of minutes to come in. It's early doors for some of you, isn't it? What time is it for you, Ellen? 8.15 a.m. It's earlier for Tom. He's yeah, 7.15. Oh, he's 7.15. <clears throat> but it's perfect. It's tea time. Ah, oh, well, if you've got tea, nothing. Rise and shine. <laughs> well, it is at quarter past five, quarter past three, isn't it? So. Yeah. Well, there's never a wrong time to drink tea, I think. No. Isn't it? A wrong time to drink tea. Too much, too much tea, too much coffee. Well, is there such a thing? Is there such a thing? <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Right, so I'm just going to give it a minute or so, and then I am going to get cracking because um, I realise for people who've arrived on time, it's good to get going on time as much as possible. But it's very exciting to have you all here. Lovely faces. Where are people? Where are you where are you calling in from, caller? You know, <laughs> I'm like no. say that my insight time alive, and I'm like, what are you talking about? I've actually met Lisa in person. We we've had a hug. We've it's met. quite nice, isn't it, when you start to meet people in person? I've done so much online for so long now, and yet it's uh, it is nice when you get to see people in IRL. <laughs> I think we're going to come and visit you in our motorhome at some point, Sarah. Yes, 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 you must, you must, you must. Where are you in Norfolk? Um, Snettersham. Do you know it? It's near, no. do you know Heacham? No. I've been to um, Cromer and Clay, Clay next to sea last time. Oh, we right. Went. If you go from Cromer along Clay and then along to Brancaster and along as if you go to Hunstanton. I've been to Hunstanton, yeah. Yeah, if you drop down about five miles from Hunstanton, we're, we're there, just in slightly inland. So, yeah, it's a lovely, lo lovely location. I've only been here three months, three months, three months tomorrow, actually. So, uh, but love it. Cool. Well, we're all coming to visit you by the sounds of it. Yeah. <laughs> got plenty, yeah. plenty of drive. <laughs> I've just got somebody who's, well, there's two of them, two of the same person in the um, waiting room attempting to join. That looks like an internet thing. Good old internet, eh? Got a, got oh, a, tell I, me about it. I was uploading a blog earlier and it was, and it, everything oh, she again, she's broke. in made it she's oh, made joy um fantastic so Oz and I had a a one-to-one -one on zoom the other day and discovered we only live down the road from each other so we definitely should have a proper catch up oh my gosh <laughs> right ladies and uh gentlemen yay for Tom <laughs> let's get cracking let's let's get talking about insight timer because I'm super excited to share this wonderful platform with you. So I have some slides because that's the way of the world these days. However, I need to get my internet window onto the right thing first. Because if you, if you start sharing and then you change, change the thing, it doesn't like that. That's what we want. There we go. Here we go. So hopefully you can see some slides, which I am now presenting. Can you see the slides? Somebody, anybody just wave, smile, yes. nod, thing, so that I know that's what's happening. Fantastic. So this is Insight Timer, your client and income oasis. And to be honest, that beautiful picture is what it feels like to me being on Insight Timer these days. It's it's made my business feel like being in a lovely oasis. Um, so let me know in the chat or just, yeah, let me know if you're familiar with Insight Timer. If you've either used it, I find quite a lot of people have used it as a user or they have um, they've come across it, heard of it, know something a little bit about it. So you can just put a yes in the chat if you've come across Insight Time before. Um, yeah, registered. Use it for the timer function. Yeah, I think that's how it actually started. I think originally that's what it was. It just was a um, process of registering a teacher. First time hearing about it. Yep. Yes, Sarah, you're well on your way, aren't you? We've been chatting a bit about it. Brilliant. 
Cool. So let me tell you a little bit about it. Um, Christopher Plowman, who is the CEO at Insight Timer, um, posts every so often on in, on the LinkedIn. Not too often. <laughs> he's probably gone off social media like me. Um, but he's he's really passionate about his product, and they are as a team an absolutely lovely team to deal with. I I know people who've lost their Facebook accounts due to no fault of their own. And literally trying to get an actual person to deal with you is virtually impossible. So this is an app that is growing. They, they are a passionate team. They really want to grow. Already have 25 million people. That's participants, not teachers. <laughs> participants on the app. That's quite a good chunk of the world. Um, it's they, And 10,000 people sign up every single day. So that's a massive group of people and uh, they also have quite a lot of strong relationships with companies um he he you know they've got all sorts of things they've they focused on and they you know they have individuals who pay into the app and, and pay for the model the premium model which we're going to talk about shortly but also they have collaborations with big companies um so they now have um like the whole of Walmart Plus members, which I understand is something you can join if you live in the US, we don't have it over here, now have access to Insight Timer Plus and that's paid for by their with their membership. So they've got some strong relationships with bigger companies as well. Um, and they have um, just really um, paid out, they've paid out a lot of money to their teachers and they are passionate about that being the business model that they want to keep paying out to teachers. And you can see how that's gone up over time. Um, so that it's 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 very much focused on supporting teachers um, and paying teachers, which strange to relate, we've probably all noticed that LinkedIn, Facebook and Instagram don't pay us for our lovely content that we put out into the world. So there you go. Um, and they've he he's really passionate about this, um, the app becoming a household name. He's really, really keen on that. And that means that whatever it is that you share, that you feel passionate about, we can kind of grab hold of his uh, coattails and, and you know, mosey off, you know, carry let him carry us forward. So the more people he gets inside timer um, to, you know, the more people he gets to be exposed to inside timer, that means whatever you're sharing has more audience. And already there are 10,000 new people every single day joining the app. Um, and although there are 19,000 teachers, what I've noticed about quite a lot of those teachers is they're not very active, not to the level that I'm active um, and the level that I would teach you to be active if you join me on the incubator. There are a lot of teachers who just whose accounts are just kind of there and they're not really doing anything. Um, but there, there are ways which I'm going to talk to you about to really make um, a lot of impact and income from insight timer so this is the impact on my business so i'll tell you a little bit about my business and my journey on there and kind of how i came from where i was to where i am now so i was very my main platform was linkedin and i was hammering it for a while <laughs> like that's not that's that's not um an over statement of what I was actually doing I was hammering LinkedIn which meant I was turning up and posting every day I was in engagement groups which meant that you know we shared our posts in a link in a whatsapp group and I would then go and um, you know interact with all their posts and they would interact with mine and it was all a bit kind of manufactured and, and unpleasant <laughs> quite frankly and it um yeah, and it, it it took a lot of work. It would spend I spend hours each morning and writing the posts and posting the posts and finding the photographs, and also finding that whatever I did, I was like thinking about social media. So I go out for the weekend and I take a picture of something. I think, oh, how can I manipulate that into a post? Uh, let me know if uh, you find yourself doing that, like Sarah, because I can see you nodding. That that you don't. It's become such a big part of your headspace that you find yourself just thinking about it all the time and even just on nice days out when really it'd be nice to switch off from flipping social media you're still thinking about it and I was doing um lives every day I did a live on LinkedIn for three years every weekday for three years so I really was going for it big time 
Now, it turned out that had a purpose because that actually became my free content on Insight Timer. So I initially joined Insight Timer in 2021, um, but I didn't do much with it. I posted quite a bit of free content on Insight Timer, but I didn't really I didn't really do much on the app and I didn't really understand how to use the app to make impact and income very well. Um, so I'd get my statement each month and it'd be like $20 or something like that, you know, around $20. And, and I kind of dipped in and out of it. I'd shared a bit of free content, then I'd come off it for a bit and not really do much and then go back and I'm denied about it. And then the beginning of last year, I just thought there's got to be more to this. I'd kind of heard a few people mentioning that they were making quite decent money on there. And I was like, well, you know, what are they doing? What's different? And I really started to explore what they were doing. And um, as a result, um, increased my income. As you can see, those are the figures um, up to the press when I made these slides originally. However, my January income, I went over $1,000 just from Insight Timer. So that was the first time I'd gone over $1,000. I have to say, I mostly attribute that to my anger course, which I shared in January when everybody had spent the entire Christmas being annoyed with their family. That was my conclusion anyway, that that's what had happened. You know that the, there's a quote, isn't there? Um, you think you're enlightened, try having dinner with your family. You, you know, like it was, it's definitely that I think <laughs> that got my anger course um, really, really doing well on Insight Timer. So there's a, there was a bit of timing with that, but yeah, each month I'm, I'm doing things that are growing my income month on month. Um, so live attendees, when I do a live session, and I love my live sessions, they I have some regulars who come to my live sessions all the time, and they are such a lovely, supportive, love, really kind bunch. So if somebody posts that they're struggling with something, before you know it, there's loads of comments, loads of support for that person, loads of love for that person. And my, you know, when I did my lives on social media, I'd get like five people and somebody's dog turn up. And now I regularly get over a hundred people. So if you're looking for impact and you want to share something with people, then this is a, just such a lovely place to do that. Um, as I say, it's a lovely supporting, supportive space. And I'm, I'm talking to people off the platform as well. So they come to me for conversations to become coaching clients, et cetera. Um, and join and, and building my list. I'm building my list from people on Insight Timer because you can, that's one thing you can do. You can point them to a link that you have to um, get them to join your list, download your freebie or gift, as I prefer to call it. Um, so that's that's me. That's how I've done it. And, and the stuff I've learned, I'm just learning all the time because it's a really nice space to experiment. I don't know what you found about social media, but over the years, I've kind of felt like there's loads of people telling you how to do social media. I, I've downloaded a lot of those $27, here's your plan for social media for the next year. I've done a bit of that or a lot of that, actually. And and this space is, is it's much more experimental because there's not a lot of people know a lot about it. I do know quite a lot about it. And in my incubator, I give you all the pieces so that you, then you can go off and work out your own strategy and play and find out what works for you and really share from your heart what you want to put out into the world, which I think all the people I see in this room, we're all people who want to do that, really. We want to get, we want to share what's in our heart with the world. And this is a lovely place to do that. Um, So I'm going to talk a little bit more about that. So this is the, you know, we're talking about impact here. This is just a few. Uh, every day I go onto the app and these are the kind of words that people leave for me. I, I sometimes go on and I'm, I cry because there's just people saying such wonderful things, particularly on my courses, um, people saying, you know, this has changed my life. This relationship's different now. I can now talk to my mother without wanting to strangle her or whatever you know there's just so much it's having such a wonderful impact on people um and it's it's lovely to turn up and you know we all get some nice comments on social media don't we but then they're not they've never been like this for me I mean maybe they are for you but they haven't been for me um so this is uh, that's that's one on my on my anger course <laughs> which went, went down really well um, sort of unfortunately in a way but it did so you know there's there's every day I get words like this um coming in to my 
to the back end and I'll be able, I'm going to show you a little bit of the back end of insight timer because <laughs> in my back end then that's not good we're not going to do that we're going to look at my uh my dashboard of insight timer as we go through this training so I can really show you how it all works behind the scenes but this is the kind of thing you can wake up to every day um, when you're a teacher on insight timer so why my insight timer be for you well it, it's because of these things because you are tired of well you're just tired of social media and and this is not exclusive you can still do some social media stuff if you want to you can even share the stuff you're doing on insight timer on social media um you know you can you can still do both but i do think there's something i'm i when i first started up in my game on insight time i still was doing quite a bit of social media but it's gradually become less and less of a thing that i desire to do really um if you want to stop endlessly giving away your content for free and wondering if anybody cares anyway, you know, I think that um, social media is just a really weird concept, isn't it? Because we give our content, people digest that content. It may well help them. And then the the money exchange is people paying for ads on the social media platform. So the only money is exchanged between people who want ads and the social media platform. There's an energetic little bit of a mismatch, really, I think, there. Um, yeah, and perhaps you're on social media a lot and you feel like you're making no progress despite despite working really, really hard and turning up and being consistent, you know, all that stuff we're supposed to do. And, and being frustrated because you've got this thing in your heart that you really want to share with a passion and it, it just feels like you're kind of you know spitting into the wind really and then nothing doesn't things don't feel like they're landing and you may have been doing that for quite some time um just checking yeah so why insight timer so the first thing is so the first thing to know is that it's your potential clients are already kind of further down the funnel that is because they're already looking for help, that they're already on a spiritual journey. They already know that there's something they would like to change about their lives. They're not like people on social media who could well just be kind of watching the telly while scrolling on social media, while chatting to the family. You know, they're like they're like multitasking. And really, they're on social media to just see what, you know, pictures of their auntie flow on holiday or something. They're not really there to buy your stuff. Um, you know, that's not. What, what a lot of people are there for. They're really there to just socialize and find out what's going on in people's social lives. Um, whereas on Insight Timer, people are already very clear that they want to move, change, develop something in their lives. They want to feel different. They want to be different. They want to have something different in life. And they've gone to Insight Timer deliberately to search for that help. And that is one of the key things about Insight Timer is when people go onto the app, they search, they use the search bar. So they search for particular words and you can really you can really develop your content around the kind of big keywords that are on Insight Timer. So it's a bit like global search, like YouTube or SEO and things like that, but it's very contained within an app of 25 million people, 10,000 new people a day, you know, that figure's more now, um, who are actually there to get help. So they're already keen. Um, um, you, it's really easy to connect with your ideal client. So on, you know, when you post on social media, you you post something and about 10% of the people, uh, often less, will see what you've posted. But they it's not it's not like all your friends gonna, are gonna see what you've posted on social media or all your followers. Just doesn't work like that. That's just not how the algorithm game works and that algorithm game to me is a bit like it's like you've got this board game and you've got all the pieces but somebody stole the instructions and burnt the box with the picture on it and you're like well what am I doing with the pieces now I don't really know and it, it changes every five minutes and there's lots of people who say yeah we know how LinkedIn works or how Facebook works but do they really I, I don't know that they do because it's just a mystery to everybody really if you went once somebody follows you and you do, you know, when you do lives and things like that, you're encouraging people to follow you. And if people like their con your content, so they're already saying, hey, yeah, actually, I like your stuff and they follow you. They then get told about everything that you share. So when you 
post a new track, you schedule a live event, you um, post a new course, all those people get told that you've done that. So if they're keen on your stuff, they will they'll go and look at it. So I've got a few people now who every time I post a new course, they're on it. You know, they're, they're straight on the course and they want to do it. If I share a new live, they're like coming along. They they follow me quite closely and they turn up to my things. And in terms of getting new followers, when you go live, everyone on the app is told. So if you go onto Insight Timer, you can see there's a little button that says, who's live now? And you can click on that button. And then everybody who's live, even if you don't follow them, is shown to you. So that means like often I, I will ask when I launch into a live, I'll say who's new and who's I call my regulars repeat offenders. And we just all have a giggle about it every time. But, you know, I say, right, who's new? Who's a repeat offender? And, you know, they that, you know, the new people say, oh, I'm new. I'm new. And um, and someone say, oh, I'm already following. I've started to follow you now, but I'm new at your lives. Or, you know, they start you start to do a bit of interacting with them. But those new people who've just come on the app and they just happen to go, oh, do you know what? I'll go see who's live. They become your new followers and that's how you grow your following. So my following has grown from about 800 last April, which I guess is nearly a year ago, to about two and a half thousand now. So it's and it's growing all the time. Every time I go live, I get some more followers. So. So this is this this you know the impact is lovely isn't it folks but we do want to make a living from our businesses <laughs> all of us that are here want that but you get so you get paid for insight timer so for tracks you get paid per play you get paid donations when you go live and you get paid for your audio courses which are hosted on the app so you get paid in two ways for tracks there are so there's two aspects to to insight timer there's a free version and a paid version so you get paid depending on whether your content is free content or paid content um and but the the paid content you get paid you well for both of it you get paid per play and you get paid for interactions you get paid more for interactions than you do for plays because insight timer are very keen that the app becomes a place where people are doing are interacting with each other um so so that so that there's there's ways to connect with people once they kind of ask a question or that you know in the, there's a classroom for each course that you upload and they ask questions and you can answer those and you get paid quite handsomely for that um donations just that they're, they're a bit like you know they happen sometimes they don't they're kind of tend to be pin money but the real money the real earning potential is in in the courses that you can put on there so you can go live um, you can do uh, free audios. Um, all the content is audio, by the way, apart from the lives. The live is the only video thing. And you can do courses. The audio tracks, the single tracks, can either be free tracks or premium tracks um, because of the model that they have on Insight Time. Other things you can do, you can host a group. You can track your data. I quite like looking at some of my data and seeing how things are doing. You can get clients. You can make friends. I don't massively do that. People tend to reach out to me through my course classroom or they sign up to my list and reach out to me there. You can get some lovely reviews that I've showed you and you really can make an impact. I get so many lovely messages all the time from people saying, thank you. You know, what you've shared has really made, um, really made an impact. Definitely. And then once you've kind of got into the groove and, and what I do on the incubator is I, I get you into that groove. I get you to the point where you're getting all the pieces in place step by step and you are supported very well to do that. And then, you know, towards the end of the training, we look at strategy. We look at what kind of works, what doesn't work, what, you know, and you can then go really intuitive you know, a lot of my courses just, I just kind of go, oh, that's something I really want to share. So I might learn something myself or hear something myself. And then I go, oh, that would be an amazing course for Insight Timer. And, and the courses come from my heart. They come from things that I think will be helpful to people. And then obviously through through my understanding of Insight Time, I know how to kind of title those and, and do the descriptions of them so that they get, then get shown to people as much as possible so i've now got um 15 or 16 courses um on insight time that i've created since last may so 
the Insight Timer Incubator is taking place um, starting on two weeks today at this time, because I try to make the, the webinar at the same time. Um, and it's a three month program and it's only four, four, four pounds. That is um, just so you know, the time is going to change <laughs> because we're going to change our clocks. And I think you've already changed yours. So if you're in the US, so there's a bit of shenanigans there around clock changes, but um, it's still, I think, attainable for, especially if you get up and do it first thing in the morning and then do all the bits of work. Um, I thought I'd show you some testimonials from the group that I'm going through at the moment are just about halfway through the programme. So I'll just let you read these yourself so you can see um, what people have had to say. It's lovely, is that one? <laughs> I go all mushy just reading it. Um, there's copies of these on the landing page for the incubator, so you can have a look. Um, I just love that. I love the, it's the best training I've ever invested in, hands down, ham. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so funny. Um, I'm a very funny lady. Yeah, just that one there's just about yesterday's class. We, we covered courses this week, so they're starting to really see how it all fits together, which is lovely. So the Insight Timer Incubator, and this isn't the end of the webinar, this is just me slotting this in the middle, um, that it is really very unique training. Uh, one of the reasons why it's unique is that not only do I give you the information, I give you the time. I don't know about you, but I've done a lot of training that is in a folder somewhere, in an email folder on my computer, which is called business learning or something. And I, I've touched on it, done a bit of it, but never actually finished it all or put it into place but what we do on the incubator is we give you time on the training to go off to do the things and then get feedback on it and then put it into place so that each week you're actually moving forward and and making it happen and I also buddy you up with somebody else on the training so you've got somebody to to reach out to when you're just feeling a little bit like overwhelmed or something although that hasn't really been my experience of the group going through at the moment um, so it's time, support and accountability to move your learning into action rather than it sitting there gathering dust, which I have a lot of that training that's gathered dust over the years. Um, these are the steps I'm going to take you through. So I'll talk you through this in terms of so you the pieces that you have on Insight Timer, you have a bio. So your bio is the bit where you can tell people about you as a person who you help mostly about who you help not necessarily not really about you a little bit about you but mostly about your ideal client how you help people what you do for them that kind of thing um and then you have a link that you can share and we talk about what that can be so for me that's my that's my um, lead magnet that's all I have there I used to have a lot more things but I think that made it confusing for people so that's a way to move people from the platform 
into your little world so that you can start promoting your products to them as well as making income from the app. That means that you make income from getting more clients as well. Um, help We help you to get your first two tracks recorded, edited and uploaded so that you can start moving towards the paid content. You have to have some free content up there first in Inside Time and insist on that. Um, and then we teach I teach you about course creation, which is where the real income window is and also that is the place where you can have the most impact and in a minute i'll talk a little bit about courses because when i say a course people think oh my god how she made 16 courses <laughs> but i will explain a little bit about those um teach you how to get lives set up what kinds of things you can say that are promotionally non non-promotional promoting i call it because you you can't overly promote on Insight Timer, but you can say things that help you to promote the rest of your business. And then we look at strategy. We look at, but, but in a really intuitive way, not this is the right way to do it, but I'll share a bit about what I've dis discovered about strategy. And then you can go off and play on the platform and really create something in your business that you really love to do. Um, it's a three-month program. We have co-creation workshops, which is where we meet for a couple of hours and we actually go, I go, right, this is how to do this bit. And then you get some time to go off it and you do a bit in breakout rooms, you get some feedback, that kind of thing. And then we're, we're also going to, we're also doing some accountability calls where there's not so much talk, but there's a, a chance to check in, find out, you know, ask, ask your questions, get unstuck, get actual technical help and that kind of thing. And then an hour with me during the program, which for for a couple of people has been sort of technical hitches, things they've got stuck on, that kind of thing. Um, so that they've, you know, they've kind of got a sense of of getting those things ironed out as they're going along. And they get a bit of help with that, that they may need one to one. There's templates and workbooks and things to help to make it all a lot easier. And I will share the link to this in the chat in a moment. So I'm going to stop the share of that. I'm going to see if there's any questions. And then from there, once I've checked in for questions, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you my back end <laughs> of Insight Timer, just to clarify, ladies and gents. Um, so any questions? Hi, Claire. I was making some notes and I've made that a little bit. So um when is it, how long are each of the sessions? Sorry. On the incubator. Yes. So some of them are two hours and some of them, are, we, we we allow two hours, but I don't like slog it out. <laughs> right. We're going to stay here. It's only one hour, 59 minutes. And we're going to squeeze yeah. a bit. If we've got to the end and people have had enough, then I, I, we, we finish. Um, the, the, we've done quite a lot of the talk stuff already. And now we're going to be doing a lot more of the kind of check-ins and helping people get over the, barriers or that kind of thing so so that yeah up to a couple of hours basically any more questions before i show you the uh the wonders of behind the scenes of insight timer hey claire i, I just have a quick question and um, I, have, I have to go in a few minutes so thank you this has been really there's something really here in your presentation that i really appreciate so thank you uh -huh. um you know, I'm going to check it out a little more, you know, explore after the call. But basically from the user end, the people who are, who are the users of this, they basically, they sign up for an account and then they just navigate around. They follow people. Sometimes they see things that are free and then sometimes they see things that they like and they want to pay for. Is that kind of how it works from the user end? So it's it's what's called a freemium model which means there is a whole load of stuff that is free. So that is that there's a lot of free tracks, basically in individual tracks that are free and the live sessions are also free, but you, you are, you are, you are asked by as a teacher to invite donations that you have to do that. You have to sign up to say, you're going to do that when you go live, because that's part of how they make a bit of extra money and how you can make some money. Then there is a paid version. So it's called the plus membership and it's sixty dollars a year okay. um and once people are through that payment window they can access everything now the way people usually find content is they may a have teachers who they really like and they will 
you know, they'll can't, they'll, they'll follow those teachers. And so I have some people who keep doing my courses and keep listening to my tracks and they show up quite regularly with the reviews that they leave and things like that. Otherwise, people go on and they search by subject. So, mm. for example, ang I I've got a track on anger and, and that was why I made the course on anger because my track on anger's had over 2,000 plays. Um, it was very popular. So I then made a course on anger which then obviously creates more income and more, more impact and more income because it's a course. So that's how that's how it works. So once people have paid, they are through that window and they can access all the content that is through that premium window. Okay, great. And I don't want to get too far down into the weeds, but if they're in the paid program, right, and they, they come across your content, then you get a little bit because they, they participated in your... Yeah, so you get paid per play for everything but you get paid more per play for a, pl a premium piece of content so that okay. could be either a premium track or premium courses and then if people so people can ask me a question in my course classroom and i'm going to show the back end of that in a minute um and then i get paid 20 dollars every time i answer one of those questions that, that's what yeah so so when i talk about course creation and teach corporate course creation i teach how to get people to do that more because you want the interaction, not least because when somebody interacts with you, if you know if they've not understood what you've, you really want people to reach out and say, I don't really understand what you mean here, or I'm still stuck with this. And that's a lot of the stuff I get to actually coach those people. Um, and it's and two options at the moment. At the moment, it's audio notes or type an answer, but I'm on a trial where AI does the answers. Now, I, <laughs> I'm not using that at the moment because that's not my thing to be you know to, for my answers to be done by ai um and, and plus i'm not you know i'm not one of those massive teachers who's got fifty thousand followers so i can keep on top of my replies um <laughs> because i don't have that many and um, i've got enough to make a nice income but i don't have thousands and thousands i imagine for those people who are perhaps will have to get a va to keep up with their replies on inside timer then the ai stuff is probably quite useful yeah. But um, I'm I'm on the pile at the moment. My feedback is going to be it's not for me. I think for now. Okay. Well, well, thanks for that. And, and I do need to go in a couple of minutes. But thank you. No thank worries. You. Um, Very interesting. Claire, mm -hmm. just a quickie on on that question. You know how you're talking about getting paid per play. Yeah. Is that only from the people that will be listening to your? Because I know you can get you can get paid on the free tracks, can't you? But if people are already accessing, if people are on the freemium on the on the if, so let me start again if people haven't actually paid to be um for the full program you won't get paid for their plays oh no you will yeah but they'll only listen to free tracks so they the payment for the payment for the play of a free track is less than the payment for the play of a premium track yes. so you will still get paid so when i was getting my 20 dollars a month at the beginning mm -hmm. in april last year that's what I was getting the twenty dollars a month for. For the but was that from people who who were listening who were paid up members or would do they pay doesn't out? Doesn't matter. Oh, does it, it not? Matter. Okay. So at that point, I only had free content on the app. So, so yeah, I get the free content bit, but you know, if people, for instance, I've got my profile on there, but I haven't paid to be to access everything. Obviously, I'm a teacher profiles on there, but if I was to go and listen to anybody's free track. Would that constitute a pay that they'd get paid a play that they'd get paid on? Yeah, even though I'm not a paid up member. Okay. Yeah. So because you can because as a non paid up member, as a free member, you can only access free content. And the thing about free content is that it doesn't have to be as high a standard as premium content. So free content, like when I my free content is basically my lives on LinkedIn, which I did through Streamyard which have an intro and outro, like a little podcast. And I basically got to the end of my live, downloaded them and uploaded them. That was it. I did not I did no editing, no nothing. And I mean, they're good quality. I've got a, I have a um, a Yeti mic with a, a yeah. pop screen and a, you know, whatever the other little foamy thing is called. Um, So it's decent quality audio, um, mm. but I didn't do any editing. However, when I make a course, that's a whole different ball game. <laughs> The quality of that has to be at a different standard and it it will be much more carefully checked by the Insight Timer team before it's approved. Mm, I'm waiting so, to do mine, but yes, 
I say yeah. the ones that I've uploaded, the free ones, are my podcast episodes that are already out there to the world. Yeah, free anyway. right. so, yeah. But uh, the other, yeah, doing your own editing. Oh my gosh, my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's great fun, isn't it? The editing. Oh, but I do help. You know, anybody who comes onto the um, incubator, I help with all of that. Teach the stuff about Audacity, how to do the audio editing, that kind of thing. Um, because it can be a bit niggly, that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> so Oz, have you got a question? Hey Carl. So my laptop Zoom kept crashing, so I'm on my phone now. So I'm not sure if you did answer the questions I wrote in the text box. Oh. Um oh, it's good. Good. I'm glad you didn't see it. I was on and off, but I'm yeah, I can I'm, I can hear everything now probably. I was wondering, um, if someone was creating content and they didn't go live at all, do you think they could still make money? Um, if somebody's doing, yeah, I mean, you wouldn't make much if you just had free content, but once you're in the premium content, definitely, because people are going on. Some people don't attend the lives at all. And I've had clients from my courses who've never been to any of my lives because they're not into that kind of thing. They would prefer to work through a course. Um, and there's plenty of people who've done my courses and not been to my lives and vice versa. So I think it, it's very subject based, I think, is the access to things like courses people are, are looking for us like my anger course i really do think releasing that at the beginning of january was a, an absolute it was a fluke i didn't do it intentionally just kind of by accident but it worked out really well because mm -hmm. people um you know were a bit peed off with their families quite frankly i think and uh, needed a course on anger in january um mm -hmm. so, so people will have searched for that subject and it is it's it's actually my most po popular content my po most popular free track is the anger track um, intuitively done fair i'd say uh, yeah. who knows just magical just magic and then you're also saying that courses great but free courses probably expect to not earn a, a lot of money but premium courses are we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna... No, there's, there's no such thing as a free course um that doesn't exist you can't make a course on the free oh right okay so the there's there's free tracks and premium tracks now, I, d I have a handful of premium traps because they did a big launch and I thought, oh, well, I'll be in the launch. I'll do that. But I wouldn't recommend doing premium tracks because there's so many free tracks. So if somebody is a free member, they can only listen to free tracks anyway. If they are a paid member, I think people pay so they can do the courses, not so they can access a load more tracks because there's so much content and really good content that's free on there anyway. So I think once you're paying, you're probably kind of going, I'm paying because I want to do a course. That's my theory behind it. And a lot of people are saying that the, the premium tracks are not really getting much traction. The courses is definitely the way to go. Brilliant. Thank you. Um, Alison. Hi. Um, so how long has Insight Timer been going? Because I'd never heard of it. I think 2009 ish something like that quite a while and i think initially it was i think it was oz that said she uses the time has used the timer it was actually just a timer for meditation to start with um and then over time it became a meditation app initially and now i would call it holistic well-being app so there are people teaching so many things on there from reiki to tarot to energy healing to uh, nutrition to um you know that you can teach yoga if you're qualified yoga teacher you can teach yoga on there people do tai chi on there they do qigong they, i mean literally there is not much in the um well-being realm that is not covered on insight timer now i even know somebody who her business is called something about getting your orgasm back. And when she first applied to Insight Timer, they turned her down. I think possibly they thought it was a bit too racy for them. But actually, she's now been approved. So they are looking at all aspects of human well-being, which is, you know, which means like one of the ladies on the training, she's kind of done life coaching. She was really into tarot. And, and she's going to kind of bring it all together in something that's very unique around helping the group of people she wants to help. So it's, um, yeah, I know people who've done energy healing on there, Reiki on there, all, all sorts of things. It's, it's really varied now. I just want to say that um, I've had Insight Timer for many, many years. And 
um, any many people who had had a meditation practice used insight timer just to track their meditation. Like everyone in my world, when I was a daily meditator was using insight timer. Mm -hmm. And some people liked, liked it just for, that's what I just use it for that. And some people liked it because they have guided meditations and you can just turn on a guided meditation. So it's, it's been around and, um, in the US, it's it's a very familiar thing. Just wanted to put that out there. Thank you, Ellen. Yeah, it's uh, it is. I think it's more popular in the US than in the, in the UK and Europe at the moment. However, um, somebody I know, um, Isabel, she's French speaking and English speaking, and she's starting to put some French content on there. And Insight Timer have said, "Come on, you be the trailblazer. Off you go and and put French on there." So. They are they're definitely with this new marketing lady, the LinkedIn post I showed at the beginning, this new marketing lady, they are keen to become a household name. Um definitely across the English speaking globe, but probably um more broadly than that as well. Good time to get in then, still. <laughs> I would say so. I would say so, yeah. And as I say, although there are like quite a lot of teachers on there quite a lot of them are not active when you go into their profiles they've got maybe a few free tracks they've no courses they're not doing lives they're not using the entire um thing you know they've not really got to grips with it or they're, or they're just doing other things you know they've just not not realized that's for them or not wanted it to be for them so let's have a look at the um is there any more questions for now and we'll have a look at the behind the scenes of claire's insight timer otherwise known as my back end. <laughs> Here we go. Let's say uh, apologies. I kind of have got something going on, so I am listening if I look like I'm not. I'm here. Oh, no. I want to stay, but I've just got some I've got to pick it's up on as well. It's fine. It's fine. Don't don't worry. Worry. Don't worry. I'm here. There'll be a recording as well, so anything you miss. In the zone. All right, thank you. So this is my um the back of my back end of my dashboard. So you can see at the top my followers. 2,483. We're going to be 2,500 very soon. Look, a couple more lives and I'll probably hit that. Um, and then the, there's all the things. So as you can see, these are my kind of current updates. So I've I've just had a course go live on Tuesday to go live on Tuesday. Um, so that's that's my most recent course. I think I think I've got, as I say, I think I've got 16. Um, this is my revenue since... Well, since the beginning, but like, as I say, for the first little while, I wasn't really um, making very much money on it. Um, so where you can see the red dot, and I need to make a note to go back into my courses after I've clicked on this, because that red dot's going to disappear. And then I won't remember who I need to reply to. So when I come in here, which I do, I try to come in here maybe two or three times a week just to have a look to see what's going on and, and who I need to reply to so this is my courses tab so when there's a red dot it means there's something going on in one of my courses so if i scroll down i'll be able to see that it is this is the decision making course i'm going to make a note of that so i can show you on this um what kind of happens so when i click on that it takes me through to this course this is my next but last i think yeah my last course that i released um oh it looks like there's one on this most recent course as well there's a question so here we have this is the course classroom um so this person has left me um there we go it's nice that it's a lovely message isn't it if it's a moment horrible one that wouldn't be good although i never get any of those so um she's saying she appreciates course whatever she said there and then i can now currently generate an ai response we'll see what it does usually they're not bad actually to say it's AI, um, AI is, um, or not. <laughs> oh, there we go. So it's given me some, some suggestions, but then the other option is I can go to this microphone and I can record exactly what I want. And when I click on that microphone, this lady's message will come up in the middle of the screen. 
Um, this isn't private, by the way. She Her message will show up on the course classroom anyway. So that it's not a private messaging service or anything. So it's OK to show you this. Um, and I can I can while while looking at her message, I can write and I can record an audio note, which is my preferred way to reply, because I find that kind of way to interact much nicer. Um, so you can see there's one I've done down here and she's actually replied. So I probably need to go back and. Um, and reply, I can reply back to her again. Um, so that's it's a, it's a really nice, easy to use. So you can see this is when the course was released um, and already kind of on the first day, it got 58 plays. Um, and then th this is what tends to happen. They kind of go down like that and then they just kind of bubble along in the background, just making bits of money here and there. Um, but they, they get pushed out by Insight Timer for seven days after release, which is... Yeah, I was going to ask you about that in terms of the courses. You know how they do it per day. Can people listen to them all in one go if they want to? Or, yeah, or they can do, do, yeah. Yeah, I get a lot of people binging my courses. They right. I did wonder them. whether yeah. it was pushed. You know, you, you can only listen to a, a, a bit a day, but you they you they people can access them. Do it yeah. in your own... They can do it in their own pace. So that's the course platform. That's what that looks like. And, they, you know, I can imagine you know, when I get to the point where I've got 10,000 followers and it's all getting a bit lively, the AI thing might be useful, but at the moment I'm not, I, I prefer to just reply with an audio note. Um, this is the ratings and reviews section, nothing new today, but um, always when I, I mean, <laughs> occasionally you get this, thanks Denise for that, I'm not <laughs> sure what the, I'd love to know what the was going to be, but bless her, I didn't get any more words than that. Um, but usually they're nice. You know, there's some lovely, lovely words to look at every day. And it, you get paid for replying to those lovely words as well. And then um, this is my donations thing. So um, oh, I need to go back and read that properly. Um, please tell me how oh, there's a how question. Good. So that'll be a nice long reply um, that some of these donations are given on live. Some of them are this is this has come off a track. I don't know what this lady's actually listened to. Unfortunately, she doesn't tell me that. Would be good if it did. Um, so that yeah. So I have to come in here and you have to say you come in here to say thank you to the to the donations. Um, these are all my free tracks here. Um, so you can see they're just bubbling along all the time. Um, and I can see how so that I did some analysis of this recently and I looked at my highest playing and I got ChatGPT to help me with the analysis and worked out what was my most popular. And it was my anger thing, which has got like 2000 and something plays. So these are just bubbling. These are all my free tracks. So these are just bubbling away in the background. You do not have to have this many free tracks, by the way. These were done more by accident than by design. Um, this is my very small handful of premium tracks. Oh, I have four. Um, as you can see, they're not they're not really getting a lot of plays. Um, and and the inter there's no interaction on them, which is why I prefer the courses. Um, this is where I've got my live events booked in. So I have a series of live events, and I because I know some quite a lot of you here are probably quite spontaneous, but you can set up your live so that you can actually confirm the topic late in the day when you just go, oh no, this is what I want to do. Um, I do have a group on here, but it's not a massive part of my stuff on Insight Timer. Um, you can see your followers here. Um, oh, there you go. Thanks, Oz. <laughs> Oz is following me. Um, I don't ever do anything with this, really. Um, here is your promotion page. This is really handy if you still want to use other social media because you can take these um, links and you can share them onto other places where you might hang out socially. Um, you can copy the link. You can send them out in all sorts of different ways if that's what you want to do, when, especially when you first get started on here. This is what a publisher profile looks like. So you have your name, you've got a unique username. Uh, mine was at Claire, Claire Queen of Calm, but I am now removing at Claire Queen of Calm. If you want to hear that story, we'll catch up later um, from the whole of the internet. So that's taking a while. But um, you have a bio, which is up to, it's gone up actually. The bio used to be about a third of that characters. And now we've got 1500 characters. It's quite nice. You can write quite a bit about yourself in there. And then you have a link. So my this is my link, which takes people to my lead magnet. Um, they do like to see certifications. If you say you've got certifications, you have to put them on, as we have discovered on the Insight Time Incubator recently. Um, the, these are all just other bits. The help desk. Let me talk. Let me stop the show and talk about the lovely help desk. So that's what the the back end. It's it's not 
it's not this is not one of these things where you need to be a technical flipping genius to operate the system you know some things are like anybody ever tried to do facebook ads <laughs> it just makes you want to throw your computer out the window because the platform is so difficult to navigate whereas insight timer the platform is just it's just so easy to use and the help is second to none as i said at the beginning if something goes wrong with your Facebook account or even your link, I mean, I think on LinkedIn, you have to message them on Twitter, which is just, or X or whatever it's called now. Um, you know, their systems are just poor. Whereas you you message um, Insight Timer and you get a real person who replies to you within 24 to 48 hours and gives you a proper answer to your question and solves your problem for you. They are They are the loveliest people a couple of times i've they're not they don't like you to share links anywhere to outside platforms and once or twice i've done that been a naughty girl and shared a link <laughs> and they send me such a lovely dear claire we absolutely love everything you do on insight timer you're so lovely we adore you blah 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 but could you just not put links <laughs> they're just like they like they like they're telling like they like speak to you like really nicely like you would to a little child when they've done something um so they are they are really lovely people and really helpful. And if you're stuck on anything, I remember my first course, I was getting really tied up with the audio editing and I was, it wasn't quite right. And they they were, said, this isn't this isn't the right sound quality, blah, blah, blah. And the guy actually tried to sort it out himself for me. He tried to audio edit my tracks for me. Um, and he said, I can't really do it. So you might have to re... Anyway, we, we got there in the end. Um, so they are just, they are lovely. There's nothing quite like Insight Timers customer service really they are they're really really nice people really helpful it genuinely is a nice place to be a teacher because you get treated really well so any more questions about insight timer or about the incubator i'll just say so i'm really liking my experience of it so far claire so Thank you so much for your support and encouragement, which has been invaluable. Thank you. Oh, lovely. Thank you. I've downloaded a couple of bits. I've saved a couple of bits. I need. To, I think people working. I work as a health coach. The people in my space, there's less people there, which is good. Yes, very. Yeah, it's a good start. But I just need to sort of listen to quality and what people are doing on there at the moment. Um, that kind of fits with where I am. If that makes sense. So, yeah, I, th I think you're right, Lisa. I think that's a new space that they seem to have opened up into quite recently. I've kind mm -hmm. of noticed that shift probably just in the last few months, really. And and I think there's there's a space there opening up for mm -hmm. anybody who does stuff around physical health um, and nutrition and things like that. It's definitely I've noticed because when you first go onto the app, it kind of mm -hmm. there's you know you've got your own feed. And I've started to notice, oh, yeah, there's a few more things about nutrition. There's a few more things about physical health. So definitely. How that would work as a, as a lesson and, mm -hmm. and an audio rather than because I'm just used to being really quite a visual person mm -hmm. and doing small group stuff. So interesting. And that's the kind of thing like that we've been navigating through with everybody on on the course, because we I think we have got quite used to video. A lot of us, we, we kind of we know we do video on, you know, LinkedIn or facebook or wherever we've kind of got used to using video whether we you know youtube wherever so it is a bit of a change to use audio only um but i think you, you can find you can find ways around um mm -hmm. and that's what we're finding from the training at the moment oz I've are got you, are you, oh sorry have you are you okay lisa do you want to ask something yeah. else no yeah. no sorry, sorry. Please, oz, go on please are you able to recycle content or does something have to be uniquely just done for insight timer no definitely not so um, my free tracks are all um my podcasts are actually on the internet on youtube and my podcast and we're obviously live on social media so all my free tracks are and you own your audio tracks so if you chose to put them somewhere else so there's a guy i'm working with at the moment bradley morris and he's got an a a, a load of meditations and he's licensed those to various different apps so you you own your content it's your content so brilliant that's good to know Thank yeah you. there was something i was going to ask you and it's completely vanished <laughs> i'll probably come back just after we finish yes, no doubt. 
Um, who sets the, the prices for your courses? Do you set your own price or is there a standard price? That, no, the, 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 there isn't really a price because what you, used to, what you used to be able to do, but I don't think you can anymore, is you used to be able to buy the courses separately. So when I first joined... And I was like looking at the information and, you know, behind the scenes. And there are a lot of very good help files once you once you sign up as a teacher on the app. It was sort of saying, well, you know, if you've got a course up to 21 lessons, it's $9.99 and you get 50% of that. If it's a course with more than that, they're $19.99, you get 50% of that kind of thing. Um, but actually what happens is that once people have paid their $60 a year or £50.99, I believe it is, they then have mm -hmm. access to all your content all or everything and your courses, and then you get paid per play. So every time somebody plays one of your lessons, you get paid. Every time somebody asks a question and you answer it, you get paid a lot more. <laughs> you know, that the interaction is really the thing. So you get, and on the free stuff, you get paid per play there. And you get, again, you get paid for answering reviews. So you need to kind of, you know, I, as I say, I go in two to three times a week and just make sure I'm keeping up with that kind of thing. Plus, I think if somebody's on one of my courses and they're a bit stuck with something, I don't want them to just plow through the course without the answer to their question. So I'd try and make sure I go in and keep up with the. So after this, I'll, I've made a note of these people have to go back and reply to them after we've finished. I've remembered what it is. Would you recommend being a member yourself? I haven't done I haven't done so far because there's only so many hours in the day. Mm -hmm. And so there's there's two things. There's the it kind of is up to you. So if I don't want to start listening to too many other people's courses and have that divert me away from what's ready to come out of me, yeah. because I can see me doing that. You know, I could see myself being distracted by that. Plus, I have, I have, you know, I don't, I don't have a lot of time. I'm very into Johnny Wilkinson's podcast at the moment. That's my main listening. Well, I've heard about that. So, I did check that out. Yeah, very good. Recommend it to everybody. Johnny Wilkinson's podcast, podcast, which is called I Am. And his first guest was Rupert Spearer. And um, so there you go. You can't go much more uh, spiritual than that, can you? So it's a really good podcast. Um, anyway, so I don't, I don't know. But if you, um, if for example, like Lisa is is like, oh, do I want to look and see what kind of premium content? Because nutrition is a newish area on there. She might find it useful to just go and see what kind of thing people are sharing. But, but I tend to think, I mean, for me, I, I want to share what's ready to come out of me, and yeah. and I I think I'm in a room full of people who are similar you know you want you've got something in you that needs to come out into the world and let's face it people like us need to get our stuff out into the, to the world because i don't know if you've noticed but the the world's a bit crazy at the moment and the more you know i was at i was at viva in spain in november and ankus james said we are we're here to raise the consciousness of the planet like you you know people like us that's what we're here for and that's what the world needs us to it needs us to be us and and really you know release into the world what is in our hearts and so i you know it's up to you but i i haven't done that no i was just curious okay. yeah. hmm. oh hello again that kind of answered one of the questions i had i was going to ask do you need to be a paid member to be a teacher so i'm guessing from that it's no brilliant um if you sign up as a teacher you put your certification for example me i'd put my reiki certification up and then I created courses on something that weren't directly Reiki. Is Insight Timer quite strict about it? Would they say no? Uh, you can only do Reiki. Not strict at all. No, definitely not. Okay. No, you you know you don't have to. You know your. So I've got like a hypnotherapy. I don't do hypnotherapy anymore. I've got a hypnotherapy certification, and um, I think I've got my three principles certification on there and some other bits. But no, they 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 assess each course individually. Mm -hmm. on, on the content and the sound quality and stuff so mm -hmm. no you can definitely share anything that's in your heart Oz. Mm. so i got a bit of a light bulb moment i'm bilingual i could do maybe oh. meditation you know never know yeah. we'll have to think about that <laughs> absolutely i mean they've really you know this this lady i know isabel she's she's um she's definitely kind of trailblazing the French content and trying, you know, and, and I think they're quite supportive of her doing that because they're getting, that's getting the app into a new country. And if she can start inviting people to join the app, 
that are in France or in French speaking countries, then that's another place for them to start, you know, yeah, sharing, sharing insight timer, really. I think it feels like when you're in it, it feels like being you're part of a family who are kind of on a, a mission together to make the world a better place. So, which is nice. Alison. So um, I'm a hypnotherapist. So is there much on there from hypnotherapy or is it just mainly meditations? So that you cannot call something a hypnotherapy, a hypnotherapy track. That's one of the things they're funny about. Don't know why. Or as far as I know, the last time I looked, that's what they said. However, obviously you can share something that is like I go on to YouTube or Insight Time and I listen to something. I was a hypnotherapist and I listen to something. I think, well, that's flipping hypnotherapy, man. I mean, they're calling it a meditation, but I'm like, I'm way deep now. And this is definitely, I'm definitely being hypnotized, um, even though it's been called you know, a meditation. I did one this morning with Rasa, who some of you may have come across on YouTube, but she's a teacher on Insight Time as well. Um, Pure Rasa is her um, YouTube channel. And and it was really deep. I mean, she called that a meditation, but it was, you know, yeah, I was well deep. So I, I think you can, you know, and if you've got a voice that is practiced in hypnotherapy, then your delivery tends to be... um nice in terms of meditations mm. and then you know i'm sure alison that you are like a holistic well-being person you've got loads of stuff you could share on there the things you've learned all your you know tools and techniques and things that you use to help people so um yeah there's lots of space for things like that thank you can i can i say something oh yes. can i just say something about alison's <clears throat> My my first thought when I learned what Claire was doing was the same thing. Like, are, how many people are out there doing what I might want to do? And I just want to address that. It doesn't matter because there are <laughs> certain people that are going to resonate with me and not with a hundred other people who do something else that I might do. I just think it's really like it's it's so easy to let that insecure thinking jump the gun and 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 put us on a wobble board about it and i say ignore it what she said alison <laughs> <laughs> what ellen yes. said definitely <laughs> like i just i think i think inside time is one of those places where just whatever like if you look at my range of courses but you can look at all the titles without being a premium member that's the nice thing about it if it, even if somebody's not a premium member they can see all the premium content it's just if they try to access it it goes you have to pay for this and um, which is quite nice because it means i know some people who've signed up for premium just to do some of my courses um you know if you look at all the titles that i mean they're so they're so varied there's so much stuff you can do um just I mean, very much what I'm doing on the incubator is helping people to really connect to that. What is your gift that you really want to put into the world? And some people are kind of with their move on to insight time and they're kind of giving them the business a bit of a refresh as well, because we cover all the bits and pieces that surround insight timer on our journey together. So, um, you know, they're kind of maybe heading in a slightly different direction or finding a new place to play quite a little bit differently to how they were before. So there's just so much opportunity on there to follow it your heart. It definitely intrigues me because uh, I've come off social media now for a, nearly a year, I think, of not been really active at all because it, it was just draining, not getting anything back. Um, and it sounds like it's more of a two-way street you, you, yeah. you feel as though you're actually connecting with people rather than just not <laughs> yeah I would mm -hmm. say both kind of energetically in terms of like you saw all the you've seen loads of my reviews today and to you know uh, you know several times a week I'll go as I say go into my my dashboard and there's lovely words you know you saw one of the questions some people telling me that my content has changed their lives and it, yeah you just don't get that from social media and it does yeah it's exhausting so I love it it's it's changed my relationship with my business no two ways about it I I definitely feel so energized and and I mean I'm I'm 
Oh, that's what I was just before I come to you, Linda, I will talk about a course because some of you might be thinking how she made 16 courses. Is she an actual lunatic? No, my courses are seven lessons long, usually five to eight minutes per lesson. And then there's a bit of text you have to create around the course. And I take you through the whole process of how to do that um, when I when I do the training. So it's not, you know, it takes me half a day ish now to make a course. When you first make one, it's a bit more of a kind of process. But um but it but it's um but it's not it's not like you know, like some courses you might do where there's a load of, you know, videos and worksheets and God knows what this is not. It's a much simpler process. Um, so, yeah, I, I wanted to say that before about because I keep saying about courses and people are thinking, oh, my God, make a course. But it's nothing like what it might be to make a course. So, Linda. Hi, um, I'm wondering my main course you know it's um it's a full week's course um is aimed mainly at coaches and other people who work with talking therapies um it teaches them how to use the language of color as a coaching tool um is there scope um for coaches to maybe take some of the little courses that you're talking about within insight timer yeah or so you know, the there's a few people on there who are promoting their business as a business that helps businesses, if you see what I mean. Mm -hmm. So there's one lady, if you message me after Linda, I'll find out her name for you. But there's one lady who she talks about the energy of business. She talks about your business having an energy body and she's all about talking about business from the energetic perspective. Um, there's somebody else as well who I can't think about what she talks about. But, the, but there are people on there who are definitely niching down into that business space thanks lisa see you later Sorry, i have to go see you later no worries um you, who are definitely about that business space and supporting business people and i mean if there's some place that coaches are going to hang out in terms of an app online it's probably going to be insight time because a lot of them will be into the spiritual teachings and the meditation and all that kind of thing so yeah there's definitely scope for if you are a business who supports businesses with anything uh, and I'm also wondering, Linda, whether the scope for you to make that course for individuals as well, you know, in terms of sharing that understanding about colour and things like that, whether you could make it work for people who were struggling with anxiety or something like that, whether there's other scope for a kind of rejigging it and making it work for them as well. So it could be yeah, yeah. two courses there rather than just the one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think yeah. so. I yeah. Think so. Yeah, definitely. Sounds good. Oz. Thanks. Um, does your do your courses Claire are they just audio or do you have like video text any supplementary stuff that you've been providing on your courses as well so you can't put anything on a course apart from an audio so each oh, okay. each, each course has a title a subtitle a description and an audio description which anybody can look at obviously in terms of making a decision whether to buy the course or not then each lesson has a title a description and um, the audio and a reflective question which are the bits that you've got to they're the moving pieces of the course but there is no there's no written content there's no worksheets there's no nothing like that it's all audio the actual learned part is audio <laughs> and sarah's cheering about that because yeah it's not so much, not so much I'm to do. really 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 loving everything i'm hearing about this because it takes so much pressure off like appearing visually and then having the background in your video and then you know all mm -hmm. these things that do add I know and then adding all this stress <laughs> but if it's just audio you're just able to focus on the one thing it's very very Absolutely. exciting stuff. and you can do it in your pjs Oz. oh <laughs> god really no more. <laughs> no more. <laughs> or your snuggie like you're lucky guys I've not turned up in my snuggie this afternoon but you know I frequently do uh, do my audios in my snuggie so you know you and you don't have to like do your hair or your makeup or any like I've done a lot of video stuff over the in fact when I did my lives on on LinkedIn I used to turn up every morning with my red lippy on and my mascara and all my hair like looking at least semi-reasonable don't have to do that when you're making a course on insight timer the only aspect that's video on the whole app is the lives the lives are video um and then their comments from the watchers just like you would have on a facebook live 
So it's just like doing Facebook Live. You have to talk to your own face, which we all love doing on our lives, don't we? It's marvellous, but it's just one of those things. But that's the only element that's video. So that's the only time you have to put your slap on if you want to. You don't have to. I do mine in my snuggy sometimes and nobody cares. So, yeah. Yeah, it's a fab place. I just love it, which you're probably getting from this <laughs> webinar. I really do love it. I'm I'm loving what I'm experiencing it so far, I have to say. And you know what everybody's been saying about what you said as well, Claire, about social media. And just I've pulled myself off LinkedIn over the last three weeks, just predominantly. I've done nothing on it, I think, this last week or, last, or yeah, this week or last week. It just gets so draining when LinkedIn rolled out all this new algorithm and suddenly everybody's jumping up and down. You've got to do this, you've got to do this. I'm going, oh, this is mental. This is LinkedIn getting you to jump through hoops for their business to make money for themselves. Like you said, you're not. Mm -hmm. Hello? <laughs> yeah, it just is a note. Once you've found inside time, you look at social media and you go, what on earth is this? It's just madness. It's just you know? insane. I mean, I, I, don't, I love creating content and I love writing, but the very fact, as you say, you. You can create content on here and actually you've got people that want to interact and I'm, I'm, I'm fingers crossed they uh, give me the authorization to go live because that's what I love doing. So, uh, mm. yeah, exciting. But, Thank yeah. You. Thank you. Has anybody got any more questions before we finish? Of course, you can message me afterwards. Um, you will get a follow-up email with the recording. So you can, and then you can reply to that and I'll answer all your questions. Go on, Alison. Is it, um, is there anything that would stop you getting the permissions and the ability to sort of create courses and go live? So there's a, there are hoops to jump through, which is what the course is to help people get over those over the, there, there are well the first hoop there is is for a lot of people is actually just doing it <laughs> you know and that's what i help people with on the course is like the little gentle i call it loving them through it but you could call it accountability um but you know we're loving people to the point where they're up there and feeling good enough to kind of do it as it were so you you'd have to kind of word your bio properly you anything you say in your bio if it's something that could be certified you need to provide the certification which i'm sure you've got you've got hypnotherapy certification uh, once you've got approved you can kind of play around with that a little bit more um and then you'll you need to have a decent photograph they are quite particular about photographs most of the people on the course at the moment the one thing that they got sent back for was the photograph because they it has to be a high enough quality and it has to be the quite quite the right kind of vibe um so they don't like anything with writing on they don't like anything with logos on well they just don't approve anything with logos on it's you know for your initial approval it's just a headshot a very simple clean headshot um and then once you've done that once that gets approved and then it it's getting your audios the first two audios is the first thing we kind of get done um, and once you've got those, you get those approved and then the kind of the rest of it all starts to open up. But yeah, the, the, you've got to get things right. Insight timer standards. Um, but as I say, for the free tracks, that's not dramatic in terms of audio quality. Gets a little bit more, they're a little bit more keen on the quality for the paid, the premium tracks for obvious reasons, because people are paying for them. So don't want them to be better quality, but it's nothing we can't overcome, basically. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely very attractive. I really am uh, interested because I'm one of these that buys courses and listens and does nothing afterwards. Yeah, well, you won't or, get or a chance try. to do that on this, Alison. <laughs> or tries to do it, gets stuck, and then, well, well, I'll come back to that another time. And then a year goes by and you're like, well, if I didn't do it then, I'm not going to do it now, am I? So, yeah, kind of that. I need, I need a little bit of accountability i guess is what you're offering with that so it sounds like it's yeah no brainer really and the t and time as well i think like for me you listen to a course and then you've got to then make more time to actually do the thing whereas we we do the bits you know you, i say to you right this is this is how to write a bio go off for 20 minutes and start pulling your bio together and then we come back together and we talk about it with our buddy in a breakout room and then we get some feedback and you know it, it's it's keeping you actually doing the things as you go along 
rather than like you say you know you do some training and then you're like oh god i've not I've not done anything uh, me me too alison as i said i've got <laughs> folders full of the damn things definitely <laughs> Thanks, Linda. Thanks, Linda. Any more questions? Thank you so much. It's been a joy again. Thank you. Um, I will be sending out, once I've got the recording and everything, I'll send a follow-up follow email with all the bits and pieces in for you to look at. But, um, yeah, I hope to see some of you on the incubator. Definitely going to see you, Ellen. <laughs> Yeah. Sarah, are you in the current program? Sarah? Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, I'm on the cusp of, actually, but Claire has been super duper helpful because I've already done so a lot of stuff like this. And uh, so I've kind of just picked up oh. and run with it. But I am actually have to say very tempted, um, not this next run, but uh, I know how helpful um, Claire is and what she's she's. Yeah. Just, yeah. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not questioning. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I just no, was no, no. wondering. What I'm saying is, is that I think because Claire, as you said, is, is those few steps along already. There's a lot of stuff I'm going. I really would like to work with Claire <laughs> because the what she's given me already, just from just saying, you want to have a look mm -hmm. at Insight Time, and I've just jumped onto it and looked at it. But I've done a lot of. I've already had a podcast that's out there and programs and this, that, and the other. So I've done a lot of stuff on the. Although otherwise, so I've just been able to go, ah, but there's a lot more that Claire's can share and tell you. And because she's there and done it, and I'm going, <laughs> this and and I honestly, if you're anybody's on the cusp of doing it, I would I would say do it because I think what Claire will be able to teach you and handheld you through will be amazing. Um and I just I hope there were a couple of people I'd sort of sent the link to today through, and I think they'd really benefit from doing that with you Claire because you've done it and you understand it and you can teach mm. people take people through it and and the one thing I love about Claire is that she's not pushing you anybody to do anything and trust me I've been down that funnel of social media marketing and been in funnels and been in this and been in that and you've gone holy moly do you know what I mean what the hell's going on nobody's really telling me exactly what I need to be doing I don't understand what's this what's that and you've spent an absolute fortune and I mean a fortune and what mm. I think you're offering, Claire, at that price is just is brilliant because you've got that hand holding, you've got that accountability, you've got those little pods, you've got I think it's such a lovely package and a really good price for anybody that wants to embrace it. I really do. Oh, Sarah, bless you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Olivia. Yeah, I mean I'm 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 I'm, I'm in. I've already I've already paid. <laughs> yeah. Claire, I'm, I, one one question. One question, just, I'm like, well, what can I do to prepare, you know, what can I do to prepare? So in terms of the certifications, they don't care whether it's like a, like, they want to see, they want to see. A, yeah, they're not after anything that's been like rubber stamped by 16 different bodies or anything like that. Like I trained with Jules and Rudy Kennard and my certificate is on there. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. It's not and but you have a physical certificate from them yeah i do have a physical certificate but okay if you... i'm trying to i'm just trying to yeah yeah so um georgia one of the ladies and... on the course she she went rummaging in cupboards trying to find her certifications but then what she did was in the end she couldn't find one of them she just removed it from a bio so if you've said it in your bio they're going to want to see it oh if you okay. just say i teach the inside out understanding and you kind of more kind of you know, yeah, they're not going to want to see it. Basically, I'd say they didn't seem too fussed right. about so, whether no. you had any qualifications on there or not. Because I was a little bit concerned to start with. Although I have got my coaching qualification, which I have uploaded, but it didn't seem to be a a big a biggie. What What do you show as your three P certification? So my certificate from <laughs> everything went off then, Alan. That was lovely. Um. My, I have a certification. I, uh, Jules, so I trained with eight with Jules and Rudy Kennard. Uh, with oh, you have it from them. Okay. The, the, they, I was their last um, 3P cohort before they went all whole, whole -ality. Um, So I have that. Um, I have that on there. Well, so I oh my think God, I, I mean, my hypnotherapist is gone because when I first started, I actually did say I'm a hypnotherapist. Um, and I'd probably, I, I, I see just, what you're saying. I, I've just done my ILM level five 
But mm -hmm. I mean, I signed up in 2021. Um, so yeah, it was uh, as long as you, as long as I mean, I would, I would keep it like more general and not be too mm -hmm. because you can always, once you're approved, you can go back in and change it and they don't go and check again. You know what I mean? Oh. Yeah, I mean, I have in. tons of, I have tons of courses that I've taken, but I don't remember ever getting like a physical certificate. That was, yeah. But I have an impressive master's degree. So. <laughs> I have a master's oh, in spiritual. <laughs> yeah, I have a master's in spiritual psychology with an oh, emphasis I, I in think, consciousness, health, and oh, healing. Oh, I think that'll, that'll cover it. That'll cover it. it. <laughs> I think that. I, I think, think that makes you like I certification a lot higher than the rest of us. I, I was going to say, I think I just top Trump just hasn't she? <laughs> yeah, I think. That's I just it. forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just my mask. And I was thinking about my cycling proficiency as well. <laughs> no, no, don't put that on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I've just been thinking about the gazillion things I've done since then that, you know, but I don't remember ever getting a piece of paper saying that I did it. Maybe, maybe it's mm -hmm. somewhere or whatever. Anyways, this has been great. I can't wait to oh, start in two you. weeks. Yes, no, I'm excited too. Very excited. I hope I'll see some of the rest of you on there, whether you're here live. Yeah, or just come, just come join us. It's going to be yeah. so fun. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, everyone. It's Thank been you, okay. Thank Pleasure you. again. Yeah. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.